what it is what's up got your unboxing in the cut at this point i don't even know what to say um this is the third pair of well you see the title i might uh throw in my previous from from one of videos i don't want to do another phone i want to do the last one i want to be the last pair of phone i ever order once i get back into flipping which i want to leave that that life behind i don't want to get back into flipping uh, anyway, uh, fucked up box from having back another video, and uh, it was just, uh, yeah. Uh, so this one right here does not appear to have the foam uh, labeling here. Actually, let's do that right there. Um, Adidas, the badge of sport and three stripes mark are registered tra trademarks of Adidas. EU Adidas whatever the fuck that is so these these are the first ones that do not have the uh signature kind of easy uh font top here uh i could let me see um let me, let me go just go get it real quick so yeah hopefully i cut a little jaunt over to get this box out but basically taking sure i'm sure everybody knew what the fuck i was talking about but i just wanted to compare here um also Obviously, none of this is there. Um, if you look over here, just size 10. By the way, that is from Confirm, so don't like, oh, you fucking got some reps. I, listen, if Confirm is considered reps, then well, we're all kind of fucked, aren't we? Um, but anyway, just straight bland box. All of the signatures are gone. Uh, foams did have a different, like, I feel like these and um, foams had a different type of box in like 450s, 350s, etc. Uh, so just keep in mind, like basically, you're not getting the same box. That doesn't mean you have reps, but like if you order Yeezy's, uh, Yeezy phone runners right now, you're not gonna get the same type of box. Oh wait, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna leave that. In. I'm gonna leave that in. <laughs> I was gonna waste your time to say I waste my own time. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, it does actually have the phone. <laughs> wait, this. This used to be two ends, right? I swear that, because in my previous video, which I hope I edited and put in here, I swear it was Foam Runner R N N R. So maybe they changed that part of it up a little bit. But again, obviously, you don't have like the Yeezy title on the side. So don't expect this with this. I will say, and I'm thinking about it a little bit, I feel like in my last video, which is the the Ultras, that's the last Foam Runners I had. I believe it was the same thing. I want to say that. I want to say it was a bland box on the outside, too. I don't remember the first pair I got, which is like literally the first pair of farmers to ever come out. But I felt for the Ultras, I think it was the same way. I have to go back and look. But um, with no further ado, so this uh, foam runner, you have the fucking yeah, skew or whatever. Uh, whatever you look up and put into GOAT. Um, I'm going to have the color in the title. I don't remember what it is off the top of my head. I want to say it's like... It's not dark slate or whatever. I think these were marine slate. So it's not these. There's a different type of slate that just came out um, after this drop did. We're, it's not, it is It is black, I would say. Like this, this is black. And this is, I mean, virtually the same color. So I think this is almost a true black, I would say. Take it for, you know, I don't know. Black is... As a black person, I feel like black may be variable to some people. This is a black hoodie. I mean, this is to me is as black as it gets, I can honestly say. Um, but yeah, these are legit, got it from confirmed. Um I think this is my second pair of phones from confirmed. I my first the first ones I ever got was the first that came out. Those were off of Easy Moth or Easy Supply. Um now see this is a size 10. These are size 11 and I have space in my foot. So this one is a frame of reference. And these these, are, these have been shrunk. Like, I put these in the dryer, which is a trick you're supposed to do to, like, get your, your joints to shrink a little bit. I put these in the dryer, like, maybe six months ago. So maybe they've expanded again since the foam can expand and contract. But this is my foot, the tippy top. These are size 11. This is my foot back here. So 
clearly some space. And this is not how you're supposed to wear slides. It is very not optimal. As you can see at the tip here of the slides, um, this is chipping is from me walking with my foot more towards the back heel and it dragging like that. That's where this is from. So you, you want these to be as true to size as possible. And in my pre, my first ever phone runner unboxing, I got size 11 and they were massive. I hope, hope to throw that in there too. So I try to go down a size. So these are size 10. I'm gonna try to throw these on and see what happens. I don't think it had to the half, but it's too late now either way. So I'm gonna, that's the part where I gotta kinda throw it down here for a second. Let's just look, I think this might be the fit to go with. So, okay, so here, here we go. Oink. So this is just neutral foot placement, not trying to ride the, the uh, I don't even want to say because it it's definitely pause worthy, but riding the tip, pause, or or the heel. This is neutral foot placement. This is how I would just throw my foot into some shoes. So this, I would say my, God, this is hard to kind of approximate. My toe is, my tippy toe, my thumb toe is roughly, it's hard to even like kind of gather, but like probably roughly about here. And there's not like, well, uh, maybe about right here. So pretty decent, like enough space really for your tiptoe. And my again, neutral placement, my foot is about my, my heel. Not quite at the back. There's a little bit of space. Like I can fit my finger here, obviously. But it's probably about a finger width between. So this, doing it like this. Just kind of showing what, what, what the action is like that. So if I try to like, let's just pull my foot out and I'm trying to pull my foot out by like raising the heel up. It doesn't come up. And I'm actually trying my hardest to do it. I'm trying to lift my, my heel up. It does not slip out. Has a responsiveness here. Let's try to zoom in a little bit. In doing this, my, my, my heel does not really like, it doesn't feel like my heel gets particularly close to the, the bottom. And in the same sense, putting my heel all the way to the back. I'd say probably about right here, somewhere in this area. So, I mean, I would say, man, I, I don't know, dude. If I got a size nine, I think I'd be like, like just, just re like really middle of space. This size nine, but that's a size ten. I feel like this might work. I'm gonna walk it out, kind of get a feel for it. I definitely like it better than like how I like. If I have neutral foot placement here, this is what I feel like a neutral foot placement would be like on these. You got some some heel space, got a pretty good amount of kind of tip space there. So I don't know, man. I would say I don't know. I don't know, bro. If I had to guess, size 10, I think may work, but then again, with a closed back shoe, you do want to, I think, have that security of like where your foot is at a little bit more. Like, I don't think you really give a fuck. At least I typically, I don't know, is it too much? Like if I'm stepping, like, if I'm not like lazily walking, like if I'm like really picking up my foot, I don't really notice it that much on this shoe that it does have that much space on the front and back. But, the clothes back shoe and then you want to be more secure. For a frame of reference to close out with. Um, so we have, these are size eights. I always go size eights and Crocs because in size eight with Crocs, I can pretty much go, I don't know what they call it, a sports mode or whatever, but like I can lift the strap up, uh, pause, and then just put my foot in and my foot's pretty much like, as you can kind of see like almost right by the heel there. Like it's not a ton of space to work with there. And I'm pretty much like tipped to like the top of the croc, more or less. It is a very tight fit if you go sport or strap down, but if you go strap up, it's to me like the most like a slipper if I go size eight in these. So I would say just walking here, just stepping, kind of simulating steps. Let me go back to one here. Um, I mean, for one, like the response from this on this is like, it's like class A shit here. Like in this, the kind of feedback you get is just wonderful. Um, 
first of it. I don't know, dude. I, I'm trying to like. I don't know. I think this is fine. I kind of I might have to break it a little bit more. Like it's it's not forgiving. I will say like the tip, uh, the kind of uh, the top, uh, the the front, the front. You try to like kind of put your your toes up, try to get a little bit of give. It's a very hard feedback with your toes. Like you try to lift them up and try to get a little bit of give. Can you do that here? I thought like it gets a little bit more give, but these are like as you can tell. Worn in like a motherfucker. Um, so maybe these get like that too over time. I feel like they should. I mean, these. Like, and you can kind of tell even where like the indentation is that. Like, these eventually kind of have some give too. So maybe these will eventually. But uh, as for now, it's about it. Uh, phone runner, uh, what's called Jigaboo color. Um, these joints, I fucks with them. Uh, great design language. Um, still, I mean, I, hopefully these are my... I'm going to try to ride these as long as I can. I'm not going to try to flip them. I'm try to just walk through them and see if they end up working. I want a pair. Because I just need a, I need a pair. Another pair. I, I need another pair of slippers, right? Like at the house slippers. At the... Uh, these are... These 1090Rs or some shit Rs. I don't fucking know. Fucking New Balance. I got Pleasures. Uh, Salehe. Uh, and work hairs. We got the Naruto Kakashi joints, but they're like in a fucking uh, bag right now. So I want these to be on my last pair of slippers. I want to have a good rotation. I may try out some of those crops eventually. I had the Grateful Dead joints. And I traded those out because uh, I had like three already. Now I have four. And I'm kind of, I don't really want to trade any of these out. Like, they have to be a fire collab for me to like flip out. I guess it'd probably be the N work hairs. Because Salehe is like timeless, I feel like. And I, this is like my only pair of pink shoes. And the pleasure is like they still got some more. I still got some more beat. And I think I do the pleasure before like they're ready to be traded out. Anwar cares a little bit beat, but shout out my guy Anwar. Anyway, that's it. Uh, Foam runners, the preeminent slippers, and hopefully my my last pair of slippers I ever get.